à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage P80, décollage. Propulsion nominale. Les paramètres bord sont normaux. Le pilotage est calme. Les paramètres bord sont normaux. Vega blazing a trail across the night skies here above the Guiana Space Center, heading out north. And we can hear the rumble coming across here now at the Space Center. We broke the sound barrier 31 seconds. Acquisition de la télémesure lanceur par la station de Saint Jean du Maroni. 31 seconds after launch. When we reached Mac 1, getting some great views tonight. La trajectoire est nominale, le pilotage est calme. He's telling us that everything's going normally. Début de la queue de poussée du P80. We're burning the P-80, the first stage. Séparation du P-80. And it has burnt all its propellant. We don't need any anymore. It falls away. And we are shedding weight. The lighter we are, the faster we go. And we're now burning the Z-23. It's the second stage. It burns for about one minute and 40, and Z stands for Zephiro, which is an Italian type of wind. 23 because, because it burns 23 tons of solid propellant. Look at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, our altitude, we're 100 kilometers above sea level. And that means that we are now basically going into space. We've reached what's called the Kármán line, the border between our atmosphere and outer space, the point where the atmosphere becomes so thin that it can no longer support Aeroplanes with wings, and so the we have calme, to use rocketry to stay up. It was named after the Hungarian American aerospace engineer Theodore von Karman, often known as the father of supersonic flight. Tous les paramètres bord sont nominaux. He was born in 1881 and died in the 1960s, and he was a director of NASA's Jet Propulsion Separation du Zephyro 23. It's okay, we have now lost the Z-23, and we're waiting for the next stage to switch on. That's called the Z-9. Here we go, the scheduled moment for the ignition of that engine. And then we'll shortly get the separation of the fairing. There it goes. So we don't need the fairing anymore because we are very outside the uh, atmosphere now, which is very thin, so there's no friction. You can see our satellites for the first time. 